let's talk about, um, let, let's focus a little bit. So if you have someone, let's talk about congestive heart failure, mm -hmm. and then we'll roll it back into someone who's born with the pancreas that's not working properly, because that's where, um, this is the spectrum of what you want to talk about. So someone spends 50 years working really hard every day to induce their heart into failure. They spend a lot of time each day, whether they're eating, whether they're smoking, whether they're sedentary, whether they're living in a bad environment, whether they're uh, suffering a toxic relationship, whatever. And they're working hard every day to cause their heart to fail. And so at the end of that time period, somebody comes in and says, listen, you're gonna die unless you completely change everything and regenerate your heart. And they look at the person and they go, well, what does this entail? And we have narrowed it down to five point model system of detoxification, oxygenation, you were just talking about ozone therapy, uh, the, the ideal diet with these embryonic raw food factors that are regenerative, like from algae and from uh, organ meats that are uh, from healthy raised um, uh, uh, animals, mm -hmm. um, colostrum, the, the good yogurts uh, from made from raw milk, not pasteurized milk, so on and so forth. And then uh, 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 bioidentical hormones, because we've lost those. We're not making, but we they're essential. We have to have them. And then a positive attitude. So those are the five. And when you do those five, and then you really feed that person properly and, you're, and you focus, you do these five common things that I just mentioned very specifically, and you're headed toward optimizing each of those five areas. You're not just doing all five together. You're certainly not doing one by itself. That doesn't work. Right. You're doing the entire lifestyle of a long living person at a high end. And then the heart disease goes away. And then the anti-aging effects come in with, to that heart and the heart becomes 10 years younger. So if the heart was failing at the age of 70, the person's about ready to die, and this is published, this is published, they now have a very, very healthy 60-year-old heart because the tissue has been completely refurbished with the natural healing ability of the body by using those five factors at high end. That's how we do it for most Americans, for most people in civilization, that's how we're gonna to have to do it. Now, coming back to someone who's born with an organ that is deficient, that can be more complicated because there are actually missing elements, uh, either at the gene level. Uh, but by the way, most diseases are not based upon defective genes. They're based upon defective expressions of genes because they're not being fed properly or they're poisoned. And if, could, I, could, I, could, I, could I could I uh, could, could I clarify? So so you, like you said that the, so, is, so with the origin then I guess uh, of, of diabetes it w it would be basically um, like the origin of diseases is that like you like you have a deficient organ from birth is that is is, is that the case? So th this would be something that I was born with, or, po or, or I guess yeah. yeah. Let's talk about let's talk about type one versus type two. Um, diabetes was not at all a disease here in the United States until about uh, 1900. It just started about 1906, 1908. And then by 1920, it became uh, sensational enough that a lot of uh, therapies were developed centered around the liver, detoxification, uh, feeding properly, getting the liver to work right. And that balanced the sugar out pretty good and people lived pretty well. In 1924, Banting discovered insulin. And then when insulin was uh, given to treat diabetes, that's when the disease really took off like a gunship. The, the blood sugar was being treated very effectively with the sugar, with the insulin, but it mm. wasn't fixing the cause. Right. And now we have a huge number of people in this country and it's growing like astronomically yep. uh, with type two diabetes because nobody's living a regenerative lifestyle. Now, in the case of some people like yourself, where we have as a as a culture, we have degenerated and degenerated and degenerated, that's accumulated. And so the, the young then that are born have these diseases that are based upon actual genes that are defective. 
like type 1 diabetes. That's a different story. So how do you get a defective gene uh, system within an organ like the pancreas that doesn't have the genes to properly turn back on again, to properly express if you feed it the right raw material, so to speak? Mm -hmm. How do you get those genes in there? And the best way to do it is what I was referring to earlier. It's by through what's called uh, life cell therapy or organotherapy with the addition of stem cells and the five-point model system. And those studies are known. They've been known for decades that that's possible, uh, but you have to go outside this country to get that science. I've written a book on it. It's on Amazon. It's uh, be actually a two-part series, but the first book is written where all the medical documentation's in there awesome. that this is possible to do. But it's, it's, you have to understand it from a, from a different point of view. So, so in review, if you have this five-point model system where everything is working like the lifestyles of a long-living person, and then if you're born with a genetic error, and then you go to get these life cell injections with stem cell therapy, under those circumstances, it becomes very possible for your body to start working properly again.